YouTube people, I haven't made a video like this in ages uh, and I thought it was time I did another one and I quite fancied talking about this this little pedal board that I've made which is pretty sweet, I'm really happy with it. I wanted this to be kind of uh, only the things that I want and need and nothing more because I don't want to have too many distractions down on the floor while I'm playing. You know, it's a board for me when I'm playing as me, if that makes any sense. So when I'm, you know, wanting to sound like myself and do my thing that I do, that's what this pedal board's for. The main thing, the main gig that I'm doing when I'm trying to sound like me and I want to sound like me is King Heron, which is my band. I'm being a bit sneaky with this video because I know there's, there's much more of an audience on YouTube for gear things like this. So this is kind of like a little advert for my band King Heron. We are a jazz fusion, for want of a better term, trio. We have an EP out and lots of other videos on my channel are to do with us. So there's little snippets of us playing and there's vlogs of cool things we've done recently. <laughs> We're rolling. And yes, this pedal board is... It's essentially the sound of King Heron, and that's what I wanted it for. So I'll run through the pedals and show you what I've got going on. So here's the board, the uh, tuner, nothing interesting there, but then the Hudson Broadcast pedal, one of my favorites. Uh, I made a demo about it about two years ago, which I'll link somewhere up here. But since, since then, it's just become one of my most favorite pedals. I love, just love the way it sounds. Very minimal thing on there, just adds a slight bit of grit when you, you know, if you dig in. <laughs> Second channel might be my favourite sound I've got. It, it feels feels lovely. It's very touch sensitive again, you know. Next is this The Dude by J Rocket. I I really like J Rocket stuff. This is it's kind of a smoother overdrive, can get quite high gain if I want it to, which I don't always, but yeah. So that's only for when, you know, when it gets to be a bit of a wig out. Moving on from that is this uh, Blue Hippo by Way Huge, this chorus. I used to swear off chorus, but yeah, since I got it, I won't, I don't go anywhere without it. I just love it. I always can find a use for it, you know? <laughs> myself using the vibrato quite often as well. And then moving on is this, uh, it's the Nano Pulsar by Electric Harmonics Tremolo. This is a really nice sounding tremolo, I was really surprised, especially for the money. I've got 
this um, this big sort of plastic thing. It's called a wingman. I've got it on the rate knob. That then allows you to kind of control it with your foot really easily. And in King Heron, I find myself doing that all the time. <laughs> If you have the depth set up fairly high, you get these cool kind of glitchy things. Kind of stole that from uh, Chris McQueen, who uh, I'm a big fan of. You can just use a pedal in a more expressive way. It's really, uh, it's, it's fun <laughs> and it sounds cool. Uh, the tremolo on its own is, uh, you know, it's a lovely sounding tremolo. <laughs> After the tremolo, it goes to this MXR clone looper. Nothing fancy, but this looper has become quite a big thing for me, especially in King Heron as a trio. Building up soundscapes and things has become kind of part of our sound. <laughs> Something I just really enjoy doing. So the it's just a bog standard looper. You can put the loop in reverse and you can have the speed at twice speed or half speed so you get kind of octave down octave up things our single well our lead single off the EP Acrobat uses this heavily to build up a loop I might do something like this It gets pretty, pretty atmospheric. You can get lost in that quite easily. <laughs> So that's a big thing for me, I really love doing that. And then this reverb, last but not least, it's, uh, it's great, it's got four algorithms in it, so hall, plate, room and spring, um, and it's, I like it because you can set presets, which is, you know, you can set, so I've got like a really short... <laughs> something 
bit longer. Kind of a spacey room thing. And then I've got a nice long one. Which is, you know, useful for this. So that's it pretty much. I've really been enjoying using this setup. It's working, it's working well for me. And like I said earlier, please check out King Heron if you feel so inclined, we'd appreciate it. Give us a follow on Instagram and listen to us on Spotify, watch other videos about us, please do. We're gonna be doing a lot more in the near future. So yeah, that about does it. Thank you for watching. See you again, goodbye.